Life happens. The unexpected, the uncalled for, the unintentional. We've been damaged emotionally, damaged spiritually. You're going to lose loved ones. You're going to get fired. Your house going to get foreclosed on. Somebody going to give you a notice. The bank going to lose your money. Somebody going to steal something from you. Your car going to break down. All that's going to happen. If you saw it, you ain't going to win. I'm sorry. Because the devil is busy. The devil going to throw hardship your way. He testing you too. This ain't finna be easy. Life is not getting ready to be easy for you. You can stop hoping for that. You got to get doggedly tough. Period. You know, they send you a notice from the weather storm when a hurricane coming, everybody got to evacuate. In order to be successful, sometimes you can't evacuate. You got to board up the windows. You got to stay and protect what's yours. You can't quit now. I don't care if you don't have the money and you don't have the help and you don't have the family for it and you don't have the friends for it. You cannot quit. You might have to make adjustments. You might have to find another way. You might have to learn new things. You might not move as quick. You might not have as much, but you cannot quit. If I was going to quit, I would have quit a long time ago. I've come too far for that now. I will not be defeated. And I've made up in my mind that I will get a reward for the pain that I go through, no matter the price. You can get through this, because you bigger than this. You better than this, you tougher than this. And when you get to the other side, you're gonna be better. You're gonna be bigger. You're gonna be bolder. A person's character is not judged when they ride the wave of success. When everyone chants their name and you want to be their friend, no. Your character is put to the test when your back is against the wall. Somebody told you it was over. Somebody sent you home. Somebody told you you'll never be a doctor. They sent you home, you fail. Never give up. You don't give up on me. You don't quit on me. You man up, you woman up, you get your life back. When you come up against that thing, I'll do that thing. And you can't do it when you get there. You gotta already make up your mind before you get to cancer. You gotta already make up your mind before you get to that exam and pass that exam. You gotta make up in your mind when you're talking to your husband, when you're talking to your wife, when you're talking to that sickness. You gotta look at it before you even get to it, so don't you ever give up. Failure has made me who I am today. Failure gives you two choices. You stay down or you get up. Well, I'm up and I am fired up because I have figured it out. And I can stay down or I can get my ass up and I'm in the getting up business. You're not gonna die in this trial. You're gonna make it. In fact, you're gonna be better. When life knocks your butt down, I need you to get back up and I need you to go heavy. When uncertainty creeps in, I need you to get up and get right back on the thing that knocked you off and I need you to go heavy on it. When something doesn't turn out the way you want it to turn out, I need you to attack the very thing that didn't turn out the way that you wanted it to turn out and I need you to go heavy on it. You don't judge a person by where they stand in times of comfort and convenience. You judge them by where they stand in times of challenge and controversy. And when you work for something, it gives you a different type of attachment to it. The harder you work, the harder it is to surrender. That's why cats can give up so easy. They ain't got nothing invested. But when a cat work for something, like when a cat been sacrificed for something, well, you're going to have a cold day in hell before you take it from them because they value it different. When people die or people get sick or something happens in your life, if all you're doing it for is a car and a house, that can stop you. But if you're doing it for your mom, for your siblings, for your family, for your community, nothing can stop you. You cannot be broken. When you have an intrinsic goal, when you're doing it because you value it, when you're doing it because you can, when you're doing it because it represents represents who you are when it's internal no mountain no trial no tribulation nothing can stop you and no matter what you walk through no matter how broken your life is right now no matter how many times you failed there's a power within you that's stronger than whatever's going on around you so I'm not retreating I'm not running I don't care what the odds are I'll get it done or die trying I worked too hard to get here in order to give up now I put in too many hours too much sweat too much blood too too much tears. I worked my ass off to get here. I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to win. I got here not because I'm the strongest, not because I'm the fastest, not because I'm the best, but I kept fighting and fighting and fighting. And I just made up in my mind, I'm going to get through this. You are not going to stop me. I got too far. I've come too far to give up now. Regardless of what happens to you in life, regardless of the adversity, regardless of the opposition, regardless of the trials and tribulations, nothing can stop you. The only thing that can stop you is you.
You want affirmation? Look yourself in the mirror and say, I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. I know I can. Do whatever it takes. You your biggest driver. Life is pain. You know how many times I wanted to just give up? How many times I thought about ending it? Life is hard. Easy. It's not an option. But it's worth fighting. It's worth believing. It's worth giving yourself a chance. It's worth mustering yourself up, standing up inside yourself. It's worth fighting relentlessly, never giving up. It's worth fighting a good fight. It's worth being around motivated, positive people. It's worth being up-tempo. It's easy to have faith and feel good when you're feeling good and you have no pain and your bills are paid and you got a clean bill of health from the doctor. It's easy to be motivated then. But when that's not the situation, it's hard. When you look in the mirror and you don't see the person that you once saw. It's hard, I know it's hard, but do it hard. It's necessary that you take charge that you begin to stand up inside of yourself, that you dry your tears and you're not given the luxury of feeling sorry for yourself, that you got to get in a fighting mode. You can't surrender. You can't be a chump. You've got to fight back. You've got to stand up and start saying, wait a minute, what is it I need to do? You've got to make yourself move even if it hurts. Many people have been written off and said, this one won't survive. And they did. It's possible. You've got to believe in your heart of hearts that it's possible that you can beat this. Your belief, your faith, your drive, your determination, your persistence, your perseverance, your spirit, greater is he that is in you. What's out here in this world? So you've got to decide, you've got to say, it's possible that I can beat this. And it's necessary that I do this. In spite of the pain and the conditions, you've got to mobilize your mind and your spirit. There's nothing as powerful as a made-up mind. I'm not through yet. I've got to work. I have an assignment that's incomplete. I'm not through yet. I'm not going out like this. I'm going to fight. And when you do, when you give it the best that you can, when you keep on trying, you're seeking, you're asking, you're knocking, something happens. The universe opens up for you. There's certain things in your life that you cannot afford to quit on. I'm in Times Square right now. I look around, I see all these companies. And the first thought that comes to my mind is that they didn't quit. Because I know anything that's big once started off as small. I know they hit challenges, roadblocks, obstacles, rejection. People probably looked at them crazy but they didn't quit. In your life, when times get hard, when setbacks come, that should let you know that you're on the right track. The journey is about progression, not perfection. Right? It's not gonna be perfect. If the peak is worth reaching, the climb is gonna be hard. I know, I know, I know you're ready to give up. I know, I feel you, you're ready to give in. You're like, I've never gone through this before. Or maybe you're at the darkest point of your life and you're ready to give up. You're at a point in your life where you feel like it's do or die. You're going through so much pain. You're going through so much agony. You're ready to give up. You're ready to quit. Listen to me very carefully. You are a warrior and it's time for you to fight. Look, that test might not go away. That pain might not go away. That fight might not go away. You are a warrior. It's time for you not to back up, not to give up, not to give in. Stop letting stuff derail you. Stop getting stuck. Every time life don't go your way, stop getting stuck. Stop quitting. Stop giving up. Keep fighting in the midst of the struggle. Keep fighting. Keep thinking positive. Keep going. You only lose when you quit. Remember what makes you different from the weak. The difference between the weak and the strong is that when the strong have no more left, they fight, they fight, they fight. The weak, they quit, they give up, they give in, and there's nothing weak about you. So I need you to fight your way through it.